Hey, what is going on guys? PNS of the here and welcome back to another video. I know it has been quite a while, probably like one or two months uh, now, maybe counting, but I am back. The semester is finally over, which means I am free and there's nothing to do, so that means there's plenty of time to make some videos. And before the video begins, I have some pre-recorded footage of other stuff that happened during that two-month hiatus. Um, of me opening a, what is it, a draft chest from the leagues and a legendary chest, etc. Now, while I was gone, there has been lots of challenges, like double elixir draft challenge, where I got lots of coins. Now you can see I have 190,000. I spent some. Um, I entered the open play of that uh, Clash Royale open play tournament thing, and I qualified and I applied for day five. So hopefully. Uh, you know, I don't face too tough of people and I'll move on to the live matches in the top 8, um, which I highly doubt. Um, so now that all this footage is over, now you see my screen and a lot has passed. If you didn't follow me on Twitter, I have reached 5,128 trophies as my personal best uh, last season. Um, but I dropped down to, what is it, 5, 000, oh no, 4,970 because I was tilting. Um, so right now I'm at 4762, which is not as high as I want it to be. I should be in the top of the clan, but uh, I've been slacking due to finals and pressure. So, And as you notice on the bottom of my screen, I have a legendary chest and a giant chest ready to be opened. But the big thing is I looked at Stats Royale, which tells you your chest rotations. And my next chest should be a super magical chest, which I'm not sure. I don't want to... You know, say it's 100% true. Let me open this free chest. But if it is, I'm gonna show you right now on this game that I'm about to play. So I'm opening the silver chest to get it out of the way. Now I have a special offer, which I don't know what it is. Oh, wizard challenge. Uh, I'm not really gonna play. I'm not gonna buy this. I bought the hog challenge though, definitely. Cause I'm trying to get that level 10 hog. I'm almost there. I'm 208 away. So without further ado, I will. Use my same old deck in ladder. Whether I win or lose, I'm trying to get that last, uh, the next chest. So here we go against, uh, I don't know how to say that. So I'm going to use a princess to rush him and bait something out. Hopefully, he's not Elite Barbarians, which is not. And I'm going to use Minion Horde to kill that balloon because balloons are nasty. So uh, hopefully, they can run away. No, they can't. Only one survived. So now we're going to wait for him to do something. So as I build up my elixir, I want to put my archers down, honestly, so I can back that up with my uh, mortar. So he's going to put an ice wizard. I want to put that in the front before the ice wizard crosses the tower. And he puts the rocket down, but I still get one hit off. And it hit, it hit the, whatchamacallit, ice wizard as well. So here comes his legendaries. I'm going to put that down. So Lumberjack, oh boy, it's going to be tough. Lumberjack's going to do a lot of damage. But I'm going to put the Hog Rider to, you know, just do some more damage as well. So he did 400 more, which is, eh. Next time I know to put my um, P.E.K.K.A. down when it happens. So now he knows that my Minion Horde is out of rotation. He's going to be putting the Balloon down next. I'm pretty certain, so... I'm gonna put my archers down just no. Yep, see there we go. Now I gotta put all my air units down and put my freaking mortar down as defense. So that spared some uh, hits. And my prince is gonna die. So now we are okay on damage. So we shouldn't be too shocked or too panicked. So we're gonna go with Hog Rider once again. He's gonna put a Lumberjack or a Knight or a Musket or both. But he's gonna have Zap. There we go. So I'm gonna be putting down my P.E.K.K.A. See, he's gonna put down everything so that he can try and get value, which I'm not gonna let him. So I'm gonna put this down to protect. Oh well, was gonna protect my Archer. So here I put my Princess. And there we go. And we're gonna put that down and that down here. 
to soak up damage. Looks like he's gonna rush me pretty quickly over here. So I'm gonna protect my archers, go with a hog rider. I've recently been getting a lot of people viewing my game, so well played. Well played to me. And I'm going to, he's gonna put a balloon. He's gonna put a balloon. Yep, there it is. There's the balloon. Got to drag it and use my archers to attract it. Gotta make sure it doesn't die though. Gotta make sure my stuff doesn't die from... Oh boy, he is completely demolishing me right now. And that is game. Let me drop it. What's this on my computer? I'll look at it later. Okay. It's alright, I'm minus 31 trophies, I can always climb back up, but I want to get that super magical chest right now. So, let's go with the mortar first. I always go with mortar, princess, or um, hog rider in the beginning. Just, just pull out something and, you know, screw with the rotation. He's got a level 7 bow, which is pretty impressive as a level 11. Uh, you might see more and more level 11 that have, you know, high level cards. I placed that Skarmy Realm. So he's got a Musketeer in the back, which is fine. I'm be putting the Princess down just to, you know, take the Elixir. I'm be putting a P.E.K.K.A. to kill that tank. I'm gonna put Archers to kill the Skeletons. Uh, it won't kill as quick though. Not ideal. Not ideal. I took too much damage. Now I'm going to be putting the mortar since he expended lots and lots of elixir. Hopefully he doesn't have a Skarmy. Because I have the arrows for him. The mini, no no, the mega minion. I have to correct myself. Has to die. There we go. And now I put this since he's so worried about the mortar. He expended four on the freaking... Ooh, okay. I, I am actually, um, pl I play worse when I'm commentating and try to concentrate so I don't want to be quiet because that's boring gameplay but I do want to win I do want to win so here is my Skarmy there we go kill that muscle too real quick use zap which means my main horde is safe so he's gonna go with the giant graveyard combo soon enough or he's gonna try to fireball what I have it's fireball. I'm I'm calling for it. Like I'm asking for it. Okay, this is this is definitely fireball worthy. If um okay, that was a late ass fireball, but works for me. We will get one more mortar shot, which is fantastic. So it, this musketeer won't be able to kill. So I'm gonna be using the hog rider, going in, going in, and kabooya. One more! There we go. There's the win. I think that's the win. All I have to do is protect from a giant. And that's an easy task to do. And I just dropped the minion horde down. And I don't think he can do anything besides fireball. But this will do the trick. I think. Oh boy, oh boy. Actually, nope. I spoke too soon. Oh. Okay, I'll just attack this other one. Make him expend six elixir from that push. And I think I have one. Let's put that down. This down. There we go. Good game. Now let's cross my fingers. Super Mario Chest. And here we. There we go. Slash Royale is 100% correct. I have a Super Mario Chest. And I will be opening this right now. No, like unlocking it. I mean, not opening, opening it. Uh, tune in for tomorrow's video. Where, or maybe the day after. Where I will be opening all three of these chests simultaneously in one video and maybe do a no wizard challenge is only one day i'm not going to do that uh, i don't think I, I don't need any wizards so um i think that will do for this short video today 10 minutes long that i've recorded right now and hopefully you guys will enjoy the chest opening in the next video uh stay tuned and i will catch you all in the next video peace out